Hey guys, what's up? My name is Matt. I'm just a dude, and today I'm going to show you how to change the ignition module, the burner electrodes, and some other parts for this charbroil grill. The reason why we're doing this is this grill had a faulty propane tank in it, which started a fire and then melted all the electrical parts. The first thing we're going to do is replace these knobs. To do this, all we have to do is pull them off and then put the new one on. The next thing we're going to do is take apart this ignition module. As you can see, all the wires have been melted inside of it. So we're going to wiggle them back and forth and if they don't pop out, we're going to have to get a pair of pliers and pull them out. These are trash. We're just going to end up cutting these. So what we're going to do is just cut these wires off. And then we're going to attach this string to these wires and then pull these wires to the other side of the barbecue. The reason we're going to do this is so we can attach the new wires to the string and pull them back through. This burner is known as the sear burner. What we're going to do is disconnect this old electrode and then pull the wire through with the string on it, attach the new electrode, and then tie the screen to it and pull it back through. Now that we have the wire pulled through, we're going to attach the sear burner, attach this end back to the propane outlet underneath this covering. The next thing we're going to do is disconnect the main burner because the electrode, the ignition electrode, is under here. We're going to take off these clips and remove this burner. To remove this old electrode, we're going to take a flathead screwdriver, put it in this hole right here, and twist it off. To install the new electrode, all we're going to do is push it on. It's a little tight, so we're going to take some pliers and help ease it on. Now that we've got the new electrode installed, we're going to take the wire, attach it to the string, and pull it down to the bottom of the barbecue again, and then reattach our burner. Now that we have our electrode wires pulled through, we're going to push these female ends into these male connectors on the back of the ignition module. It doesn't matter which one they go in because the ignition module sends a spark out to every wire when you hit it. Now we're going to remount this ignition module into the hole in the grill. To do that we're going to have to take the top off and then take this lock nut off and then push the module in through the hole put the lock nut back on, put a battery in there, and then put the top back on and check their spark in the ignition electrodes. Now that we know that this ignition module works, we're going to take it out and then we're going to put on the heat shield and put it back in. Now that we have the ignition switch installed, we're going to take these wires, loop them together, and then zip tie them so they're neatly held underneath the grill. The 
last thing we have to do is install a new temperature gauge. Super easy. All we do is take the wing nut out of the back, put it through the hole, and then tighten the wing nut down on the other side. Now just make sure it's square. Now that we know everything works, we're going to shut it off and put the rest of the grill back together. Alright guys, just to recap what we did today, we replaced the ignition module, the burner electrodes, and the temperature gauge on this Charbroil Classic Grill. I would like to add that the parts in the service department at Charbroil is awesome. If you're going to replace parts on a Charbroil Grill, call them. All the parts I use today are from Charbroil. This video is not sponsored by Charbroil, I just wanted to say that because they did a really, really good job. My name is Matt, I'm just a dude, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if I can't fix it, I'll fix it so no one else can. Thanks for watching.